Okay, friends, are you ready for another dating experience? Okay. I went to Zurich some days ago, like two days before I came back and I was wait, there. Wait, wait, she went to Zurich, somebody flew her out? Rich man. Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe she traveled there by herself, but if somebody flew her out, you know what happens in Zurich. For four days. Because I met a guy who I met on Hinge and we wanted to get to know each other. So he invited me to his house. Uh, he booked flights, everything. Like we FaceTimed before, everything was nice. Like we Listen, how do I know? How do I know this? Before, before it even happens, how do I know this? A girl like her, I have to give her a seven. I mean, she's, she's fading out of like that, that eight. She's coming back to seven, six. She's, she's an older woman, right? But she can still pull these like rich men. We went along well with each other and then in an end. So I was super excited to go there. When I arrived to pick me up, everything was nice and really like it felt so natural, you know, like like we would knew each other for so much time already. Of course, and remember that if you're rich, everything is natural. If you're broke, uh, I feel uncomfortable. I don't want him touching me. If you're rich, you take fly her out to Zurich. Of course, she of course she's gonna be wet down there. Of course, one hundred percent. But if you can't take her anywhere, remember that, guys. I don't know, I wasn't really feeling him. And then, then, then he asked to split the bill. Mm, I don't know, I don't know about that. <laughs> the cheat code is just, just be rich. Um, and nothing was awkward, I don't know. It was just so easy. I was there four days, nothing happened uh, other than cuddling, like we watched uh, Netflix together, we were cuddling, we slept together next to each other, cuddling, uh, we hold hands, like this kind of stuff, but not even a kiss or anything, nothing happened, but it was really nice, I liked it. We also were talking and we were like speaking like, how do you find this experience now, like uh, am I how you expect me to be or am I different or what are you thinking right now? And both of us, we said like, yeah, honestly, like I feel so good and I really enjoy it. And um, yeah, it just feels so natural. And so wait, I don't, I don't understand. What is the problem? If he flew you out, you, you feel like you can be yourself around him. Everything felt really natural. I don't get the conflict. Is it that he wanted you to put out and then you're like, mm, because it kind of felt like you were already going to put out if he was going to fly you out. I mean, if I'm, if I'm in India, right? Or, I don't know, Thailand or wherever. And I fly a girl out. I'm expecting something. I'm not just flying a girl out just to like, so we can cuddle. So, kudos to this man or kudos to this guy for, you know, being a gentleman. But... Come on, it's a give and take. Weird, like, it's seldom, you know? So Sunday came, which was my last day being there, and he was already a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, he was a little moody, and he said, like, I'm sorry, like, sometimes I have these days. And later on, he was also like, yeah, and also I was thinking tomorrow we are leaving, and I'm sad. So we spent the Sunday again together. The weather was not good, so most of the time we were inside doing Netflix. In the evening we went for a nice dinner, we had a good talk, you know, like everything was perfect. On Monday he brought me to the train station, I took the train to the Zurich airport because it was so fast. He had to work now, this week he has like a, his website or something like that <laughs> because he wants to go to work by himself, blah blah blah. So he has a lot of stress and like a lot of uh, pressure in work. I get this, you know, like, I mean, I don't have a problem. But as soon as also when I arrived at the airport, he called me and I was like, oh my God, this was so nice. And now we are ready to make the next step. And yeah, I will come to visit you in Berlin or you come again to Zurich, like, whatever. I left and I was like, wow, like, this is crazy. It was so easy. It was just so easy, you know? Yeah. But it was too easy, maybe. Because what is happening is he's ghosting me right now. I don't hear from him anymore. And I'm like, well, <laughs> what happened? Like, 
what happened? Where was this turning point that I didn't notice where everything changed? Um, I sent him the first day and I was here. Then I, said, I sent him the next day. I sent him yesterday and he wasn't responding like he was responding before. Like before we were FaceTiming every day. Now he's not even responding a text message. He's not even saying good morning or good night, nothing. Today I didn't hear anything from him, anything. And I'm like, it is how it always is. And I'm wondering, I'm really wondering why. I don't understand. Someone can tell me, like, where is the mistake? Okay, three things which I think it could be. It could be that he flew out another girl after you did not give him anything. Because it, as a man, I think nowadays you have to be very calm, cool and collected when it comes to women. You can't be really on them. You, you gotta let them make the first move. And if she's not really in the mood, you gotta leave her alone. So that's the first thing. You don't want a lawsuit after flying a girl out and then she's spewing all of these things on the internet. So that's the first thing. The second thing, I think it could be maybe that you got TikTok. Maybe the fact that you're constantly posting all of these like private encounters on TikTok for the whole world to hear about some like maybe that could also be like a turn off factor or he could be super stressed with work but I don't think work really makes you ghost a person. What makes you ghost a person is the fact that you are seeing somebody which is better or last but not least it could be probably you said something very stupid when you guys were sitting and chatting. He's quiet, he's calm, cool, collected. He probably did not speak as much and you are maybe like talking about, I don't know. These are the guys which I've seen or I've been with this many guys or you know how women talk. Sometimes they talk all the time and then you're like, okay. So talking too much isn't a good thing and a lot of girls sometimes don't know really how to keep their mouth shut. When he calls, I want you to stand on business. I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna tell him mm -hmm. it's done. I want nothing to do with him anymore. Okay. Thank you. I don't even wanna hear what he has to say. You don't even wanna hear I'm what he has to say. I'm standing on straight, straight business. business. Don't fall for the honey trap. Nothing. Don't fall for the sweet talk. Nope. Because you're that girl. I am that girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he doesn't understand I'm that girl, so that's why you gotta go. Oh. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He gotta leave because okay. I, can't be, I can't be doing this anymore. You can show to stand on business. I'm, I'm not even joking business. right now. Hello? I'm <laughs> I'm just calling to let you know that like, it's done, like it's over. So come collect your stuff. It's, it's, it's over. Listen, this is when you got a sweet talker. This is when you got to say, baby, I under no, babe, 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 I was wrong. I, I bought you some flowers, baby. Like that, that is when you simp. If there is a time to simp, now is the time to simp. But it's going to be very interesting to hear the man in action. Us. Like we're done. Yeah, you know how he Oh bruh, he's he's good. We're not done, baby. No way. I I still need to talk to you. Can we can we at least speak in person? You know, let's let's sit down, let's have a conversation, baby. I I was wrong. I'm sorry. I, and then and then you can then you can shoot in I love you baby. Like don't be this way. You know how Yes, I've been going through things, but you know it has nothing to do with you, you know? I've been stressed. It's a lot of work. You know, you got to give her that sweet talk. Yes, yeah, so when you see him that's it. Hey, listen. Man. What happened to standing on business? You're just you're just useless. No, you know it is when I see him in real life, I'm gonna break it. It's better if I see him in real life. No, no, we had a game plan. You're meant to stand on business. You failed miserably. Real talk, girl. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but if you are always following the average path, you are always going to have an average life. And maybe mm. that doesn't sound so bad from the outset, but when you realize the average person is in debt, unhappy, and mm. in a job they hate, it might make you take a second glance. You see, because the thing is, I always dreamed of getting rich, but I never thought it was possible for me. Like, it didn't make sense. I thought to have wealth, you needed to just, like, get really lucky. But that's not how wealth works. Sure, there are people that win the lottery, but for the vast 
vast majority of people who become millionaires in their lifetime, they get there because they stopped doing the average mm. things. Society wants you to go to school, take any major and graduate with debt. Then they want you to come out of school and treat yourself for your graduation with a brand new car and go into a bunch of debt for it. Then they want you to have a wedding and have this big party for everyone else and go into debt. Then they want you to buy a house. Yeah, I stopped listening to what other people were advising me to do about my life. That was maybe when I was what, 23? Because I went that path, I tried to do exactly what people wanted me to do. And then when I was 23, I was, just, I was just tired, I was sick and tired of it. I was like, in order to become remarkable, you must do remarkable things. If it works out, it works out. But the only thing that I think of is that one day we're all going to die. One, not even, like in some few years, people are going to be living in the homes that we live in right now. So I'm like have a good time do exactly what you want to do not because it's one that you can afford but it's one the bank told you mm. that you can afford so you go into massive debt then you continue to upgrade your lifestyle with each pay raise never yeah. saving or investing not thinking about tomorrow buying 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 for convenience and instant gratification because you are so overwhelmed with life and overworked and unhappy that you are looking for something to fill you with a little bit of joy you work eight hours not because you're productive for eight hours because when you work eight hours you are beneficial to the economy that profits off of your need for that instant gratification and convenience you're too tired to start your own business you're too overwhelmed to think about learning a new skill like investing so you stay a cog in the wheel mm. I became a millionaire when I stopped listening to society. And I can promise you anyone else who has wealth at a young age did something that the average person does not. The way that men are actually really bad for us and our bodies very blatantly tell us that they're bad for us because two years ago, all my acne went away. It just, it just did. I had really bad textured skin and forehead bumps and I really struggled with it and it was like horrible. And the day that it went away was like the happiest time of my life. And my skin has been really, really good for the past years. I could do anything to it. I could, you know, like, pop the fuck out of my pimples and just abuse the shit out of my skin and not wash it and nothing. And it would always be good and perfect. And then the second I start hanging out with a man, it all comes back. Yeah, but that's also because what the semen stays in you for, is it seven years? Or his DNA stays in you for seven years. So it's like, it's also that thing of like, when you, as a woman, are hanging around with a lot of guys, sleeping with a lot of guys, imagine having all of those guys' DNA in you for at least seven, like, these girls would say like, oh, I have a body count of, I don't know, like 40. Of course, within those seven years, you, you have slept with those 40 guys. Some girls even are in the 300. So I'm like, with the internet and all of that, that's too much. 